हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम सो इन दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम आई विल बेसिकली शो यू ए गूगल ड्राइव क्लोन दैट आई डेवलप्ड इन साइड पी एच पी एंड माई सीक्वल डेटा बेस एंड इट रन इन द ब्राउजर एंड इट हैज़ फुल ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड फुल फीचर्स ऑफ ए गूगल ड्राइव एप्लीकेशन वे यू कैन एक्चुअली अपलोड डाउनलोड और शेयर योर फाइल्स विद अदर पीपल एज वेल तो दिस इज एक्चुअली द लॉग इन स्क्रीन राइट हेयर If you have a exist existing account in this application, you can log in by entering your email address and password, or there is a sign up option as well. So if you click the sign up button, you can create your account right here, and right here you can basically fill out the information: first name, last name, email address, and password. So let me just register a new account in this application. So in this MySQL database, you will basically see, guys, there are three tables. first table is for the files and this is actual structure we are basically storing the file id which is actually a primary key of the table which is a foreign key and user id file name the path of the file and the size of the file and the uploaded date of the file all these properties we are storing it in the files table the second table is for the permission so whenever you share your file with other users this permissions table will come to come into the picture and the third table is the user table so we are storing information about the user such as the id of the user email password the first name and the last name so all these four details we are basically fetching from the user first name last name email address and password let's suppose if i enter it you can see that we are entering the first name last name and then we are basically getting the email which is let me write here gautam@gmail.com and password 123456 so if i just write here validation will also be there your password length is 6 your password must be at least 8 characters long so there is also this validation which is also available to you so let me just enter a 8 digit password and enter and now you can see that if i refresh the user table a record has been inserted if i just show you gautam@gmail.com password is 123 first name last name so you can see that so now i can simply log in here and simply type here gautam@gmail.com 1234567 so you will see that we will basically log in inside our google drive clone application it's a mini clone it's not a full clone that you see in google drive but it has the full functionality full minimum functionality that google drive offers you to actually upload files uh, basically just see all the files right here if i upload the files right here this you can see the file has been uploaded there you will see the, this notification and now you can actually go to your my files and your file will be you can see that if you refresh the file will stay because we are actually storing the path in the files table right here you will see the file has been uploaded and it has been inserted in the mysql table this is actual file name this is a full path here where the file has been stored this is the file size and the upload date so all this information we are displaying it on the browser as well which is a date and time so there is a download button if you want to download this file so the down, if you click download the file will get downloaded this is actual image file that we uploaded we also have a delete button dustbin icon if you click on this individual image you can see the live preview of the image that you uploaded right here this is your image that you are having and we can upload some more images like this now there will be two files if you so two files have been uploaded you just need to refresh so you will see that you can see if you want to uh, upload the same file then it will show this message to you that already that file is present you can see that so if you refresh so you can see that there are three files right here you can even delete this file as well now if you refresh the files table there will be three entries which will be added right here you can see that we can even individually delete the file as well now that file has been successfully deleted if you refresh the table as well that file will get removed right here so this is actual file that we uploaded this is a first file 
so now let's suppose i want to share the functionality if i click the share button there will be in google drive you have the sharing functionality as well if you want to make your file public you can share it with friends as well so there is a functionality as well here also if you click the share button you can enter the email address to whichever person that you want to share this file to you so let me register a new account right here let's suppose in a new tab i put again sign up for a new let's suppose i say neha and then i register account email address like this password create account so if you refresh now there will be two accounts right here if you go to the users table there will be two accounts neha at the red gmail.com and now we have two accounts right here so if you basically search for this email just type here if you just search for a random email which doesn't exist you will see this error email not found in database and if you basically write the correct email near at the gmail.com click on share so basically you will see that you have successfully shared the file and you will be redirected to the home page and now if you log in with this account right here enter the email and the password click on login and go to this option shared with me so if you go to this option shared with me you will basically find this file guys which you have shared with this account if you basically see this file has been shared with you you will see that so there is also a recent option as well you can see that if you click share again go to this option so you can see that so in this way if you refresh now there will be this uh, entry will which will be added right here which is go to the permissions you will see this entry will get added so this permission you can see that the user can download the file as well if you go to shared they can download the file as well so you have granted the permission to the user that they can download the file and you can see that the other user can actually download your file and they can view their file as well so it's a great functionality of google drive that you see inside google drive they can share your files as well so you can also see this uh, 2.41 megabytes of 500 mb used you also see this uh, progress bar in google drive as well whenever you want to upload files so this is also been seen right here so now there will be three files you will see that you can add some more files right here again you can share this file again with the same email address click on share and now if you refresh there will be two files which will be shared with this person you will see that so they can delete this file permission entry deleted successfully so there will only be single file remaining so they can even delete the file as well so in this way guys you can see that so now inside the home section i can in this account we can basically upload a file right here so there will be this file which will be there so you can see you can see that guys there is also a unshare option as well if you want to unshare this uh, file right here if you don't want to share this we can click the unshare option and now that file will get removed from this section so now there is no file available right here so in this way you can do that you can download delete everything you can do you can also delete this file as well share this file it's a mini google drive clone if you want this script guys the link is given in the description you can directly get the full source code of this php and mysql google drive clone and uh, uh, the link is given you can purchase it from my website google pro code store.com after you purchase it you will be redirected to google basically google drive where you can actually download the zip file and you can extract it this folder structure will come in 
which, which will get the CSS code, JavaScript code. This is a PHP code. All the scripts are available. This is the actual index.php script which will get executed. For executing it, guys, you do need exam control panel or any hosting platform that you are basically hosting your website. So this is actually a cross-platform software to actually execute PHP and MySQL applications. So just write exam control panel if you on Google you can simply download this before executing it so by default it gets installed in the C directory if you install it go to the C directory and there is will be exam directory available htdocs folder and right here upload your zip file and extract it and simply you can access your localhost Google Drive clone whatever folder name that you have given your application right here simply open and then you can log in with your credentials whenever you register a user first of all you need to register a user by clicking the sign up button and then you can log in your user so now i will basically show you guys how i uh, uh, configure the database so what i will do is that i will simply delete this database by going to the sql section drop database file share so whenever you will be downloading the zip file after the payment so the very first step you need to do you need to create the database uh, for this specific application you need to call this in the we have this dot sql file given to you you need to directly import this file in the database you need to call your database as file share because we have mentioned this database right here if you call it another name then that will create problem so just create uh, go with the default name which is file share in all small letters click on create your database has been created after that we need to click on the import option and then you need to import the sql file that you got just go to your c directory wherever you have extracted the project so right here we will basically import this file which is a dot sql file click on import so you will see all the tables will get imported this will be the files table this will be the permission table this will be the user table and you can see that so these are all the tables right here and after that what we need to do we just need to go to your login page click on sign up and let's suppose we give the first name email address password click on create accounts and you will basically see in the users table one entry will be added you will see that Harsha that the rate you can log in here if you write incorrect password you will they basically get this notification that your password is incorrect so you are successfully logged in and now you can upload your files So you can see that now your file has been uploaded you can see the live preview and if you see in the files folder the entry has been successfully added and uh, you can add some more files as well so it's a very good project guys if you are in a company if you are in a college then it's a very good project to show you to your teachers or to your employer it's a very good mini google drive clone in php mysql if you are interested the link is given in the description you can directly purchase it from my website tocodestore.com and uh, if you're watching it for the very first time please hit that like button subscribe the channel and again if you go to the next app you can register a new account click on the sign up button all this authentication is there you will see that So now you can log in with this account. So now we are successfully logged in. You can basically, so the file is uploaded. You can see this is actual file with live preview. And now if you want to share this file, click on the share option. And then you can basically search for the email address, harsha.gmail.com. And just click on share. 
so you will basically see uh, some okay so i think we put the email address is we will also see 2.45 megabytes of 500 megabytes use so now you can see that i shared this file you can even share this file as well you can see we have shared this file with this email address which is neha at the rate gmail.com if you go to this email address and go to this shared with me section you will see the file has been shared with you and uh, you can see that you can even unshare this file as well if you want to let's suppose if you want to also share this file this this file as well you can simply share it as well share so click on unshare you can basically unshare your file and now that file will be removed there will only be one file available it will be i think it will be removed yeah so no file has been there so you can see unshare option is there so you can upload a new file if you want to share this file also so this is a thing guys if you are interested in purchasing this project the link is given in the description it's a fully fleshed google drive mini clone and thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next live stream until then thank you very much